Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover expanded form, word form, and standard form. So let's start with expanded form. Now when it comes to expanded form, we take numbers and expand them out to show the value of each digit. Expanded form really helps our overall number sense and understanding of numbers. So we have three examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. I have a place value chart at the top of the screen. We're going to use that for number one, and a place value chart can be very helpful when first starting out or if you're not really understanding. It helps break the numbers down and see exactly where each digit is. But your ultimate goal is to be able to do expanded form uh, without a place value chart. So let's jump into number one where we have 576,901. And I'm going to write it up here in our chart. So we have 500, or I'm sorry, 576,901. And we have a comma right here. Now before we put that into expanded form, I wanna mention that the sections, the ones, thousands, millions, billions, those go on forever. Uh, we just go up to the billions in this video. So those sections separated by commas are called periods. All right, so let's put number one into expanded form. And we're going to start with the greatest valued digit. So the digit furthest to the left, this five. So we need to think, how much is that five worth? What's the value of that five? And it is worth 500,000. So that's what we start with. The value of the five is 500,000. And then we just work our way to the right. So plus, we need the value of the seven. So that's in the 10,000s place, so it has a value of 70,000. Plus, our six here is in the thousands place, so it has a value of 6,000. Plus, a nine that's in the hundreds place, so it has a value of 900. We then have a zero in the tens place. We don't need to represent that zero, within our expanded form. So we would go to the next digit, which is a one in the ones place. So it has a value of one. And now we have number one uh, put into expanded form. We showed the value of each digit. So on to number two here, where we have 63,085,004. We need to start with the greatest valued digit. So the furthest to the left, and it's this six. So it's in the 10 millions place. So it has a value of 60 million. Now with some of these larger numbers in value, you have to be very careful with your zeros. Um, so for example, I would be incorrect there because that's only 60,000. We need three more zeros. Plus, this three has a value of three million because it's in the millions place. Plus, we have a zero, so we can move to the eight here, which has a value of 80,000 because it's in the 10,000s place. Plus, a five in the thousands place, so 5,000. Plus, we have a zero in the hundreds, zero in the tens, so our next digit here is that four, so a four in the ones has a value of four. And there you have it for number two, so we have the value of each digit expanded out. So on to number three here, where we have 2,072,080,000. And we'll start with the two, which has a value of two billion. So with these, again, with these larger numbers in value, we have to be very careful with our zeros and that we have the correct value represented. So for example, I only have two million there, so we need three more zeros, so it equals two billion. We have a zero in the hundred million, so we can go to the 10 millions where we have a seven worth 70 million. plus two million here, a two in the millions place, plus a zero in the hundred thousands, so we can go to the eight, which is in the 10 thousands and has a value of 80,000. 
and we have all zeros remaining here. So we have all of those digits expanded out to show the value of each. So there you have it. There's how you put whole numbers into expanded form. Show the value of each digit, and there you go. You have the correct answer as far as expressing a number in expanded form. Now I do want to mention that there is another way to express numbers in expanded form that involves using parentheses. I have a separate video that goes through how to do that. I drop that link down in the description. On to word form now. Now when it comes to word form, we're going to write these numbers out in words, hence the name word form. So we need to think about how we would say these numbers and that's exactly what we write. So we have three examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now at the top of your screen, I have a very uh, important hint. Think, first name, last name. And I'll explain what that means as we go through our examples. I also have a place value chart that we're going to use for number one. So a place value chart will come in handy when you're first starting out with word form or if you're struggling. But your ultimate goal is to be able to do word form without a place value chart. So let's jump into number one where we have this number here. And I'm going to write it in our place value chart to help us see how we say these numbers properly and therefore write them out and have the correct word form. So we have five, seven, six, comma, nine, zero, one. Now, before I write that in word form, I do wanna mention that the sections on the top of that place value chart, so the ones, thousands, millions, billions, those go on forever, but, uh, in this video, we're only going up to the billions. Now those sections separated by commas are called periods. And it's very important to know your periods when it comes to word form and just numbers in general. So let's talk about first name, last name. And we wanna take a look at this section here and read that number as is. That's going to be our first name. So 576, first name five, hundred seventy six now last name we take a look at what period that number is sitting in and that's going to be the last name so five hundred seventy six thousand and then we move on to this here so nine hundred one would be the first name there, read the number as is. And when it comes to the ones period, we actually don't use a last name. It's just the number as is. Every other period though, we go first name, last name, except for the ones. So we would wrap this up with 901. So we would read number one in full as 576,000, 901. Just remember, go period by period thinking first name, last name. All right, so on to number two, where we start with this section here. So think first name, last name, read it as is. And we have a 63. Now last name is the period in which that 63 is sitting, and it's sitting in the millions. So 63 million. comma. Now we move to the next section or period. Read the number as is. And we have an 85 there. 85. I'll need to come to the next line. And we're sitting in the thousands period. So 85,000. Comma. And we're over to the ones period. And remember, for the ones period, we just read the number as is. There's no last name. So we end with four. So we have 63,085,004. And lastly, number three, we'll start with this two. So we read as is, and we have a two there. And it's sitting in the billions period. So two billion. comma. 
we read this as is. So 752, 752 would be the first name. 52. Last name, it's sitting in the millions period. So 752 million, comma. Read this number as is. We have 80, and it's sitting in um, in the thousands period, so 80,000. And we end with all zeros in the ones period. So we're done with the word form as we have it written out now. So 2,752,080,000. So there you have it. There's how you write whole numbers in word form. Think first name, last name. Lastly, we have standard form. Now when I say standard form, I mean that we're going to write numbers in number form. So we're going to write the number using only digits. So we have three examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Numbers one and two, we're going to go from word form to standard form. And number three, we're going to go from expanded form to standard form. So let's jump into number one, where we have 62,314. So we're going to take our time, break this word form down, and make sure we properly convert it to standard form. So we'll start with this 62 here. So let's write out our 62. And we know it's going to be in the thousands period. So that 62 has to have a value of 62,000. So we're in the thousands period there. And we know the ones period comes next. So let's see what we have to wrap this up. We have 314. So we know we need a three in the hundreds period. Uh, because we need a 3 with a value of 300, and then we have 14, so a 1 in the tens, and then a 4 in the ones. My suggestion would be to always double check that your word form and standard form matches. So 62,314. Read it out loud and make sure it matches that word form. And in this case, we properly went from word form to standard form. So on to number two, where we have a larger number in value here. So we're going to step it up a notch. And we have 18 billion, 34 million, 200. So let's start with this 18. So let's write out 18. And we know it's going to be in the billions period. So after the billions period comes the millions period. Let's see if we have any millions. 34. Million. So we need a 34 in the millions period. So let's put a 0 here, a 3, and a 4. So that gives us 34 million. A common mistake would be writing 340 there and thinking this would represent 34. But in fact, that's 340 million. So be very careful. After the millions, we have the thousands period. So let's take a look at our word form. 18 billion, 34 million, 200. So we don't have anything in the thousands period. So we need to fill that with zeros. And then we go to the ones period where we have 200. So we need a two in the hundreds place to represent that 200, a zero in the tens, and a zero in the ones. So let's double check that that standard form matches our word form. 18 billion, 34 million, we don't have anything in the thousands period, and we wrap it up with 200. So we match there. Our standard form matches our word form. Lastly, number three, where we have expanded form. So we need to start with this five here, and that five has a value of 500 million. So we'll write this five, and we know it has to have a value of 500 million. So that's the place we're starting, the 100 millions place. So the next place to the right would be the 10 millions place. So let's go to this number here and see where that nine is going to be. We have a nine that's going to be in the millions place. So we don't have anything in the 10 millions. 
when it comes to expanded form, everything's in order. So you don't need to look around. We just go from left to right. So we don't have anything in the 10 millions. Our next place is the millions, which we have this nine right here. So nine in the millions, comma. Our next place is the hundred thousands place. So let's see what our next number is. We have a one with a value of 100,000. So let's put that one in the hundred thousands place. The next place is the 10 thousandths place. So let's look to the right here and we have 7,000. So that's not going to, that seven is not going to be in the 10 thousandths place, it's going to be in the thousandths place. So we could put a zero in the 10 thousandths and then we have this seven in the thousands. So we need a seven in the thousands to represent that 7,000. Comma, next we have the hundreds place. We have a 60 that comes next, so we need a six in the tens place. So that's not going to help us with the hundreds place there. We don't have anything that has a value um, in the hundreds, so we have a zero. Next is the tens place, and we talked about this six here. That has a value of 60, so we have six in the tens. And that's our last number there in our expanded form but we do need to wrap it up with a zero in the ones. We don't have anything that's going to have a uh, value in the ones place there. So that's our final answer and we can double check. We have 500 million. So this five has a value of 500 million. Then we have nine million. So that nine has a value of nine million. 100,000 right here nothing in the 10 thousands place. Then we have a seven with a value of 7,000. Nothing in the hundreds place. Then we have a six with a value of 60. So that's represented right there. And then we don't have anything in the ones place. So we fill it with a zero there. So 509,107,060. So there you have it. There's an explanation and some examples of expanded form word form, and standard form. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.